Hi everyone, I'm Susan and welcome to my channel Star Society. I hope you're all doing well and today I have another haul video to show you guys so let's get to it! From Too Faced, I grabbed two bronzers at $16.99 each. I have the Snow Bunny which is a luminous bronzer and the Sun Bunny which is a natural bronzer. The packaging for both of these are pretty much identical. Here is Sun Bunny. Let's do a quick swatch of all four shades in this one. This one here is Sun Bunny. As far as pigmentation goes, the Sun Bunny one does seem to swatch a bit better and if you look closely on the Snow Bunny one for the two shades closest to my wrist, it's a little bit difficult to see the swatches so they definitely do not look quite as pigmented. For $12.99, I picked up this set from No Cosmetics. It includes No Bleeding Lips, which is a lip liner, and No My Lips Are Sealed, which is a lipstick top coat. Oh, and it also includes a little itty bitty makeup bag. Someone recommended the No My Lips Are Sealed lipstick top coat to me, so I decided to give this one a try. From a Korean brand called Yada, I picked up the Be My Tint Lip Tint in the shade Wanna Be Pink for $3.99. This is what the bottle looks like and here's the applicator and let's do a swatch. The fuchsia pink. This definitely does stain your skin because literally had this on for I want to say 5 seconds and it's already stained. I'm curious to see what this looks like on the lips so I'm going to give it a try. There we have it on my lips and it is a bright pink color so I think it'd be a fun color to wear during the summer. Also from Yada, I picked up two auto lip crayons for $4.99 each. This one is in the shade Dazzling Red and it's a chubby stick format and you just twist to dispense more of the product out. Ooh, it's very creamy. I like it. And this is the other shade that I picked up in the color Pink Holic. These apply really, really smoothly. I'm pretty impressed. I grabbed a few more things from Kat Von D, and the first two are these Shade and Light Two Tone Blushes that I got for $9.99 each. That's the packaging and this one is in the shade Sid and Nancy. Wow, that's not super pigmented at all. This one here is Mickey and Mallory. Let's give Mickey and Mallory a try. Ooh, it's quite powdery. Also for $9.99, I grabbed the Locket Brightening Powder in the shade Petal. The product comes in a jar like this and you just dump out the product through the little sifting holes. I picked up something from a brand called Haley Baldwin for Model Co. This one was $4.99 and is a perfect pelt semi matte lipstick. This is the lipstick and you just push down here to get the lipstick out. This one is in the shade Bossa Nova. I also picked up another one in the shade Bendo. This one is Bendo. 
I just think the packaging for this is pretty darn neat. Though you'd have to be careful though because if your lipstick isn't turned all the way down and you put it back into the lid, you're going to end up smooshing your lipstick. I grabbed a couple of things from Smashbox and the first one is this Hydrating Photo Finish Foundation Primer for $16.99. This is the product and as you can see, it is the full size and it was only $16.99 which I think is pretty cheap. For $16.99, I picked up the Smashbox Cover Shot Metallic Eye Palette. There's the front of this package which is pretty cool. And these are the colors in the Metallic Eye Palette. From Lipstick Queen, I picked up the Frog Prince Lip Gloss for only $7.99. I did see this selling for $19.99, so I'm happy that these are only $7.99 this time around. Now I really do like the lipstick version, so I decided to give the lip gloss a try as well. There's the packaging for it. There it is, and the product does indeed look green. The swatch does come out green as well, but I believe it's going to change colors. On clearance for $10, I picked up the Lancome Rouge and Love lipstick in the shade Corail in Love. This is the shade and I was pretty pleased to find this one for so cheap and untouched. From Makeup Forever, I grabbed two of the Rouge Artist Intense lipsticks for $6.99 each. You really do have to go and get these ones quick because if you wait too long, they will all be swashed like no tomorrow. This one here is number 54. And this one here is number 29. On clearance from the brand Bosha, I got this deep pore buffing brush for $7. It comes with a little sample of the Bosha Purifying Cleansing Gel. The instructions say to apply cleanser to face and buff with brush in circular motions for 15 to 20 seconds on targeted or troubled areas. Looks like the design of the dome shape of the brush is supposed to help really clean out your pores. Not really sure, have any of you tried this one before? I thought the brush shape looked really odd and I do have a Foreo Luna, so I don't know if this is gonna work better than that, but it's worth a shot. Now, some of you who follow me on Instagram will know that I searched high and low for Bite Beauty. And when I went to visit my sister in Ottawa, I went to a store and yay, finally found some Bite Beauty lip products. I got one of the buttercream lipsticks in the shade Hazel. I thought it was a bit odd to have a hand cut bullet like this where the top of the lipstick is flat, but it was only $7.99 so it's worth checking out. Also from Bite Beauty, I picked up several of the high pigment lip pencils for $7.99 each. I think I saw at least 10 different colors in the store and I was there for quite some time looking up all the colors to narrow down which ones I should get. I think it was pretty good because in the end I only walked away with 4 of them. This one here is Bouquet. This one is Pomegranate. This one is Miritage. And this one is Amarone. These ones swatched like butter, so I'm really excited to give these ones a try. This next item I was super duper excited to find because I know they get scooped up like hotcakes and that's the Rodile Bee Venom Night. Now Winner sells this for $24.99 and it has a compared $35 sticker on it which is completely incorrect. If you look online for this, I believe Saks Fifth Avenue is selling this for $175 Canadian which is crazy. That is such a huge price difference. Makes me wonder what kind of markup from Profit Saks is making with this. Anyway, $25 can't go wrong with this. I've heard really good things about this product, so I'm excited to give it a try. From Chanel, I picked up one Rouge Allure Gloss for $29.99 in the shade Seduction. Here's the packaging for it. It's one nice continuous tube with the CC logo at the top here. And this packaging is actually similar to the Hilly Baldwin lipstick I showed earlier where you just click this top button here and you can pull out the product this way. 
do a swatch here. So again, this one is in the shade Seduction. From Sigma for $16.99, I picked up this F88 Flat Angled Kabuki Brush. This next item isn't beauty related, but I picked up some decorative paper tape on clearance for $3. Not that I really need this, but I figured it would be nice to have handy for when I do gift wrapping. That's the end of this haul video. I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you so much for hanging out. Feel free to leave me a comment below letting me know what you found recently from your stores. I'd love to know what similar stores are carrying out there. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!